Hi, it's Mrs. Green, and I'm doing a lesson on transformations. Transformations. And I have a, a um, graphic of four different type of transformations that we'll be doing. And we're not going to do all of them in this lesson. We'll concentrate on uh, translations and reflections. Dilation we did earlier when we talked about scale factor and similar polygons. And then we don't cover rotation. Um, I think you have a pretty pretty good idea of what rotation is, so I'm happy that it's in this picture because it is it is a certain kind of movement in geometry, but um, we won't study it in seventh grade. So transformations that we'll concentrate on are translation and reflection. So I'm sure you have some idea, uh, especially of the reflection, um, what that means. So please write down your prior knowledge. And we've got four pieces of key information. So a definition of transformation. Again, uh, we're studying transformations which are movements, and a transformation is any operation that changes a figure into another figure, and then the new figure is called an image. And um, we've got two different kinds of transformations that we're going to talk about. One is a translation. Another word for that is glide or slide. The movement is a glide or a slide, so that all parts of the shape are moved in, the word in the same direction and the same distance. That should say in the same direction and the same distance. So we'll see an example of that in a minute. The second transformation that we're studying is a reflection. A reflection creates a mirror image of the shape over a line of symmetry or a line of reflection. Those are the same thing. Two ways to say the same thing. A line of symmetry is also called a line of reflection. Um, you know, I'm wrong. It's going to be, let's just go with, I'm going to cross off line of symmetry. I don't know if that was in the book or if I just messed that up. Uh, it's a, it's a re line of reflection is the correct term. Symmetrical lines could be in the middle of a figure. So I'm going to say let's just go with line of reflection. I think I'm getting that mixed up. And I don't want to mix you up. So let's stick with line of reflection and we'll talk about symmetry and how these figures are symmetrical or not um, later. Okay, so correct that piece of my notes. Then the way you label a transformation, once you've made a transformation, now you have two figures. You have the original figure, and then you have an image. And the way we label that is um, we use what's called prime. So if I have a rectangle, A, B, C, D, and I copy it, and I move it, I have a new rectangle, and I'm going to name that A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. So that's how we label that way we know that the new image is congruent and came from the original image because it's got almost the same name, but it has this little prime symbols. So you'll see that. You may have never seen that before. That's what that's called. You probably need to pause and copy all this down. So this was your key info. Now let's do some examples. So here I've got Patrick, star. And I want to show what it would look like, um, which one of these would be a translation. And remember, a translation is a glide or a slide. So we we're going to go in one direction. And um, all the points in Patrick, all of point Patrick's points, so his whole body, all of the points here, he's made up of lots of points, they're all going to move in the same direction, the same distance. So I know that this first one here is not a translation because his eyeballs moved further than his feet. His eyeballs moved that far. Oh, maybe maybe his feet moved further. But they didn't all move in the same um, direction or in the same distance. They He got rotated. And you can tell. You can tell Patrick got, got rotated. So that one doesn't work. Um, this upside down one also doesn't work because he got rotated 180 degrees and now he's on his head. The only one that works as a true translation is the glide or the slide. So everything's in st still in the same spot. No rotation, no flipping, uh, no mirror image. He looks just like he is, only he moved over. So everything's uh, all the same distance where it started except now he's been moved. What that looks like in a coordinate plane, so for your notes, if you can make some kind of shape, you don't have to draw Patrick if you don't want to, so some kind of shape, and then move it and make sure it stays the same. 
It would be nice if it was some kind of shape that's not super symmetrical, so you can see that it, all its points stay the same, A, B, C, A, B, C. Here is a, um, a more mathematical example, not that Patrick is not mathematical, but this would be more of a classic math problem here. You've got DEFG rectangle, and it's been moved. It's been translated over one. So if I look at a point E from where it starts, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So sixteen right, or sometimes that would be plus sixteen. And down, starting there, one, two, three, four, five. Five down. So this rectangle has been translated 16 to the right and 5 down. So 16 over, 5 down, and then it's been marked with prime. So that's more of a classic. If they asked you the translation, the answer would be 16 over, 16 to the right, and 5 down. Okay, let's talk about reflection. So this is a reflection, which was our other transformation. So we had translation. Translation, which is the same as slide. We have translation or reflection, which is more like a flip. And we have the line of reflection. Line of reflection, which looks like a line. And um, so I'm um, going to ask which of these figures, SpongeBob or Squidward, Squidward, which one has been reflected properly over the line of reflection? And the way you can tell, some of you can might be able to tell just from looking. But the, the mathematical way to, te to check is to see if every point on SpongeBob is the same distance in his original image. So this is the original. This is the image that's been reflected. If every point on his original, his teeth, is the same distance from the reflection line, so then you would measure all of these and see if his teeth are the same. It has to be the same distance. That's how you can tell mathematically. That's how you can measure whether something's been flipped or reflected correctly. Is if everything on the original is the same distance as everything on the image. Let's check Squidward. So I would say that SpongeBob has been reflected. Yes. Squid Squidward, on the other hand, if you look at his eyeballs, his this eyeball is not the same distance if you look if you uh, look at the reflected image the his eyeball is further away on his image than it is on his original so he's he's not been flipped he's um he's just been translated they slid him over but they didn't flip him so he's not a mirror mirror image he's not a reflection all right here's some practice problems so in he, um, oops, that's not the one I want. There we go. So the instructions here tell whether the transformation is a translation or not. So problem one, two, three, and four. These are right out of the textbook. I took pictures. So we've got this image, this image, and this image. And these are yes or no. Are they slides? Are they um, have they just been sl slid? So are those slides? And then the second three, so we, that was one, two, three. This is four, five, six, which are numbered already correctly. Tell whether the red figure is a reflection of the blue figure. So whether the red figure is a reflection or not. Okay.